Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the Lapal Monitor. This is actually a monitor I've been wanting for quite a while and I'm happy enough to have received one for the purpose of review. We're going to put it through its paces and check it out with a bunch of video games and handhelds and other devices including Dex, which basically turns your cell phone into a laptop. Let's check it out. Before starting this review, I wanted to check out the reviews on Amazon, and I was amazed. Four and a half out of five stars. I wonder why? Maybe it's these specifications. It's got a 1080p IPS screen at 15.6 inch. It's got full HD. As far as inputs, you have USB-C and mini HDMI. It supports landscape or portrait mode. The profile is only 0.3 inches, and it only weighs 1.76 pounds. It's got two built-in speakers, and you can connect it up to your PCs, your laptops, your Xbox, your PS4, Raspberry Pis, phones, and pretty much anything. So let's go ahead and unbox the Lapal Monitor. And here we have the back of the box. It's 15.6 inches. Very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and break open the seal here and open it up. Really looking forward to this. Well, let's turn it around the right way. And here we go. It comes with a USB-A to Type-C cable. This is going to be for your power. Speaking of power, it includes a 5-volt 2000 milliamp AC-DC adapter. Well, let's see what else we have here. If we open this... We have a screen protector, nice, and uh, holy moly, a three-year, six-month warranty. Huh, that's amazing. Here's some accessories that you can get, monitor stands, and we'll go ahead and set this to the side, and we'll come back to it shortly. Let's see what other cables we have here. Looks like USB-C to USB Type-C. Very cool. And in here, we have... A mini HDMI to HDMI adapter. Very nice. And we have a little fax booklet, a cleaning kit. I should probably use that. Probably should have used it for this video. <laughs> uh, then in here we have a user's guide. Nice. All right, let's switch over and take a look at the monitor. It includes a nice cover, and here we have a little screen cover. We'll go ahead and take that off. This peels right off like that. On the left side, you have your mini HDMI port, your USB-C port, and your headphone jack. On the right-hand side, you have your power, your volume up and down, or your menu control system, and at the bottom, your power, or you can use that to exit the menu. All right, let's go ahead and fold it out. I'm going to flip the end here up so it will catch it and we'll extend it out. And this is all magnetic on the back of the monitor and holds it in place rather well. That looks pretty sharp. All right, let's check it out with a few devices. We'll plug in the mini HDMI cable here and the HDMI cable into the back of this PAL Kitty A12. I recently made a video of that. I'll put a link up above if you're interested in checking it out. But yeah, let's try out some gameplay on it. All that clicking you hear is the joystick. It's rather loud, especially when it's right there by the camera. <laughs> screen looks beautiful. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the Raspberry Pi 4 running Twister OS. 
It's a very colorful look to it in the background here, and yeah, looks sharp. We'll go ahead and open LibreOffice, and I'll speed this up and just type something in real quick. To make any adjustments to the display, you can go into the menu system by pushing this little jogger rocker switch and flip through the menu options here. I'm just going to go through and go to the volume. You push in on the little rocker, push in again, and then you can adjust the volume. And I'll quickly go through some of the others. Here you have the brightness, all the different settings. Very cool. Alright, so now let's check it out with a YouTube video. I'll go ahead and load up my last video. As you can tell here, the audio does not get as loud as you might expect. I would say that's probably the only negative that I found with this monitor is that the speakers are rather weak. Alright, now we're going to take a look at another device. I've got the mini HDMI and another mini HDMI cable. And we're going to try it with the RG350M. If you're not familiar with this device and want to check it out, I'll put a link up above to a video where you can learn more about it. Alright, so now that we've got it powered up, you'll notice the screen goes into a 16 by 9 ratio. We're going to go in here and go to the menu system. We're going to change the aspect ratio, so I'm going to push in on the little rocker switch, go to aspect, and change it to 4x3. Now we have a better screen representation of the RG350M. And let's go ahead and load up something. Uh, we'll go into the emulators, and I'll go ahead and pick Daphne. We'll just play a few seconds of this so you can get an idea of what it looks like coming right off the RG350M onto the lapel monitor. Looks pretty awesome. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the PlayStation emulator and play a little bit of Tekken 3. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to hook up a TRS-80 Coco Model 2. This machine is 37 years old, and the video signal is coming in through a VCR. So it doesn't look that great here. But it does demonstrate that you can hook up pretty much darn near anything to this lapel monitor if you have the right adapters and cables and VCRs and all kinds of stuff. We'll play Galax Attack for just a minute. So you can take a look at that. You can hear the joystick in the background. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Dex is an option that is available on Samsung devices, such as the Samsung Galaxy S8, 9, 10, and 20 series. My wife and I recently upgraded our phones. Our prior phones were S7s, which do not support Dex, but now that I have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, it does support DeX. And notice here, there is only a single USB-C cable between the lapel monitor and the phone itself. That is, the power to the display is being powered by the cell phone, <laughs> which is crazy. I didn't know it could draw enough power from a cell phone to power an external 15.6 inch display. But sure enough, it can. Also, I hooked up this Bluetooth keyboard, so we're going to go ahead and use that. It's got a little touchpad as well, so it'll emulate a mouse and a keyboard. With DeX and the lapel monitor, essentially, you have a laptop that you can take anywhere, pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and load up a browser, and we'll go ahead and go to a web page here. This is a local bar that is a lot of fun. They have lots of arcade games. Anyway, we're going to go in here and select print and show you that, yeah, you can actually print right from your cell phone to your Wi-Fi printer in your house. So I'm going to hit print, and here, through the magic of filmmaking, 
is the result. And yes, I need to change the ink cartridge, apparently. <laughs> Again, I wouldn't run the power off of your cell phone for very long, but it is an option if you want to. And here I've got a little stand where I've got my cell phone mounted up on the stand. And you can navigate around and load up Excel if you want to do that kind of thing. But I would prefer to just load up Missile Command, which is a lot of fun. Here I'm using the touchpad to move the cursor around and the space bar to shoot. Very cool. <laughs> it's going crazy. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Lapal 15.6 inch Full HD Portable Monitor. And hopefully I showed you a few things that made you go, hmm, I didn't know you could do that with this monitor. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And if you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I shall talk to you very soon.